Hi, we're the graduating biology class of Byron College. A small international school in Africa. We've been in Byron for 14 years. One of the things I love about this school is the family atmosphere and how everyone cares for each other. And I really like the diversity of nationalities. We take ecosystems and nature for granted. But with this video, we hope to show you how complex processes are involved. Can you ever imagine this becoming this? We are going to explain how this happens through the process of primary succession. The first species to arrive in this harsh environment are called pioneer species, such as lichen. They are simple organisms and require no soil since they have no roots. Both biotic and abiotic factors play an important role. After some time, biological and physical weathering of the rock takes place, creating a thin soil. Decay and decomposition of the living matter such as lichens adds organic matter to the soil. Now the environment is more suitable for other organisms. Species with shallow roots can develop, for example mosses and ferns. Now, grazing animals are attracted to the area. They add organic matter and bring in seeds. More death and decay enrich the soil. Shrubs and bushes can grow as well as conifers. Now, the environment is able to support a large number of species. Seeds that are brought in can now germinate and develop. This includes large growing trees such as oaks. Some competition ensures that only the best adapted can survive. This results in a climax community which will remain stable as long as environmental conditions stay the same. So next time you're in a forest, remember, it didn't just come ready-made.